In this video, we're going to learn about a concept called forward references. What are forward references? Uh, it's a very fancy name to uh, illustrate a concept which is fairly simple. Let me explain what that is. I have a new JSHL session, and uh, I'm going to do the customary int i equals 10. Now, let's say I want to use a variable called j, which is going to have a value of 20, but I haven't declared it yet. So let's say I do i plus j. What do you think is going to happen? Well, it's going to complain that variable j cannot be found. Makes sense. Now let's say I create a method called add. I'm going to have this be a int add, which is going to be a method. And what this is going to do is return i plus j. Close the curly braces. Now, is this going to work fine? Remember, i exists because we have this variable here, but j does not exist. We know that it does not exist because we just got the error. But now notice what happens when I have this method declared. It's gonna work fine. It says created the method add. However, it cannot be invoked until the variable j is declared. So j shell is very strict about the variable j being declared over here, but it's not so strict about the variable j not being declared here. It says, well, I created the method that you wanted, but I won't let you execute it until the variable j is declared. Now notice what happens when I call the method add. I get an error, right? I attempted to call the method add, which cannot be invoked. However, if I were to declare j, now j has a value of zero, and now I can call add, and I get the return, which is 10, because it added 10 with zero. So this is what's called forward referencing. When you create a method, you can refer to variables and in fact, even other methods that don't exist yet. You can create a method like that by referencing variables and methods that don't exist, but you cannot execute the method until all the things that that method references actually exist. So we are creating a method with forward references. Here, you created a method with a forward reference of j. This works with other methods as well. So let's say I create a method called, uh, I'm gonna make this a void, say, say hello world, all right? So this is a method that I'm going to call, I'm gonna create a method which just prints hello world to the console. And this is a method that's gonna call a say hello method and a say world method, and it's gonna do them both. And then it's gonna say hello world. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say say hello, and then say world. And neither of these methods exist right now, right? So here, that's what JShell says. Created a method, say hello world. However, it cannot be invoked until this method and this method are declared. So I'm going to go ahead and declare them. Void say hello is going to do system.out Now say hello is created, and I'm going to do a say world. Which prints the word world. Now I can call this method say hello world. And it is going to in turn, call these two methods. So this is what's called forward referencing. And JShell allows this because technically when you're writing a dart Java file, you have the option of methods calling each other and the order really doesn't matter because you can edit them in one shot. And then when you give that file to the compiler or to the runtime, the compiler in the runtime has the complete information. It has all the methods that it needs. And then if something is missing, it complains. But in the case of a uh, REPL, in the case of this kind of a prompt situation, you cannot have everything created in one shot. You're basically building the program incrementally. So JShell has to allow forward references because otherwise you really cannot achieve certain programming constructs. Like for example, mutual recursion. Let's say function A calls function B and function B calls function A. How would you even begin to write that in JShell if forward references are not allowed? So that's kind of the reason why uh, forward references are allowed. And the thing to remember this is when you're writing a statement like this, the statement executes immediately. So it expects 
that reference to be supplied, that reference to be available. Whereas when you're creating a, a method declaration, you're just declaring the method and you're not actually executing it. So declaration time, forward references are fine, but during execution time, JShell expects all those references to be actually created and fulfilled. That's all there is to this concept, it's as simple as that.